Greetings, I'm recording this on the 1st of June 2021 and this is just to announce the title of our next album release and give you some thoughts about how it's come together and how it's coming together. The album is going to be called Hiraith, which is a Welsh word which I hope I've pronounced tolerably well. And I've had to write down what it means because I can't remember it all. It's, uh, it's kind of a spiritual longing for a home which maybe never was, never existed. A nostalgia for ancient places to which we can never return. It's the echo of lost stories. It's our ancestral memories. It's in the wind, the rocks, the waves, in the deep forest. It's everywhere and nowhere. If you've listened to our last few releases, you'll be aware that we've been digging into that kind of Norse neo-folk, pre-medieval acoustic sound. I'm listening to a lot of bands like Wadruna and Eldream and Hailung, several others. And there is this harking back to semi-mythical past. Now Einar Selvig of Wadruna is quite right when he says we don't really know what the music of that era was. There's, there's little bits of historical information but we don't really know. So their approach is to honour the past while looking to the future. It's got its roots in that past, but it's not trying to recreate a past that we can't go back to, that we don't really know enough about. You can't recreate it or enforce it on the, on the modern world. Heilung talk about their music being amplified history, which I think is a really interesting term. You're taking what was and you're taking the ideas and the concepts and the best bits and turning them into something that is or that might be. I'm not one for backwards looking, I'm not one for nostalgia, but the good side of this amplified history and this honouring the past is that it can lead to amazingly good literature and art and music. Oh, my light's turned itself off. And we're back. As I was saying, the good side of this nostalgia thing is great music and art and literature and films and fantasy books and fashion, etc. etc. The downside is when people genuinely believe in this stuff that never really existed, in, in a, a mythical history, a mythical state of your nation, etc. And where that leads to is basically racial supremacism, fascism, voting Brexit, that kind of thing. Longing for this world that never actually existed. That's the downside of, of that way of thinking. Enough of that. So our new album, not quite sure when it's coming out yet. Um, we have, as of today, five tracks fully written, recorded, mastered, ready to rock. And we've got some more in the pipeline. I'll decide on a release date as soon as I think I've got enough to make a decision. What's been nice this time um, is that my musical partner Louis has been involved um, a lot more recent releases during the Covid period um, it's just been impractical so I've pretty much been doing everything myself but now I've got Louis doing some, some bits uh, particularly some bass playing which is it's great just having a live instrument uh, in the mix we've, we've worked with samples uh, and synthesizers etc for a very long time um, I've been playing a few live instruments as well um, and I'm, I'm hoping that's bringing something new to the the overall sound. 
I think it's positive, it's, it's a good step forward. Uh, on this particular collection of dunes, we've started to bring back some of the base electronica that is more our traditional thing and making it work around the folky stuff that we've been doing lately and I think we're getting it right. I think we're getting a really nice mix of tolerably subtle hint of electronica but with uh, an earthy, acoustic, rootsy, primal kind of sound. As ever, although we uh, are very inspired by a bunch of aforementioned artists, um, whatever we do always ends up sounding like us, which is probably a good thing. Um, better to be the best of us than a second best version of somebody else. Um, okay, thank you for listening. Um, if you are new here, I don't know why you'd have watched this, but hey, but if you are, um, subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell thingy if you're on YouTube, which most of you are watching this on YouTube, hit the little bell thing to, um, to make sure that you get notified of all of our updates, and I will talk to you again pretty soon.